Hello everyone. This is for um, users that uh, use Linux and also have a SkyDrive account, a Microsoft SkyDrive account. And I've been looking for ways to link uh, this up to Ubuntu, for example. So I found a website, uh, storagemadeeasy.com. And if you read through, there's the address there. All one word, storage made easy. Dot com and uh, it lets you uh, uh, link up three accounts uh, for free so you can link your SkyDrive account so that's the purpose of this you can link other services uh, they have lots of paid um, options uh, business and personal solutions so if you go down here register free uh, three clouds and so if you need more than three then obviously paid lifetime service which is neat but if look at all the applications which is pretty impressive that you can sync so again we're after SkyDrive so I've already signed up um, you go the process you go through is you have to authorize it through the Microsoft SkyDrive service as well and uh, it gives you uh, a link to download for Linux so you click on the little penguin guy. There you go. You can read about the different uh, cloud tools and services it offers. And download links. This is uh, Ubuntu. And you just download that, double click, and Software Center will open. Ask for your password, and it'll install. You can get it for the same for Fedora, OpenSUSE, etc. Okay. So, so far, so good. Uh, you can uh, use this on the internet uh, via a plugin. Uh, it's right here, SME Cloud File Manager, and this is in Firefox. You can also get it in Google, Chromium, or Chrome. So we'll look at the File Explorer itself. It's kind of neat. It takes a second to refresh, and um, when you first log into your computer or restart your computer, you're going to have to remember your password. And then once you have that, once you're logged in, uh, this will always open your uh, Explorer. So here's SkyDrive here. Now I was lucky enough, well, I've had a SkyDrive account for I don't know how many years. And I was lucky enough to keep the uh, 25 gigabyte. So if I double click that, these are all the folders that I have um, accumulated over the years and stuff. And I've been uploading a couple things just to try them out. And uh, let's take a, a random text document. Random. <laughs> random text file. File. And we're going to save that to ah, desktop because it's just test. Save. And we'll go to uh, what I have here. Uh, documents. Okay. Double click that. Give it some time to refresh. And this is the upload. Upload files. And we'll go to our desktop and open. And this is really neat. This is what got me, why I was impressed. Description, of course. Tags, if you want. That's neat. Um, encryption paraphrase. Uh, if you forget to encrypt, you know, your password, it would be impossible. But obviously, there's nothing in here that's sensitive. But I thought that was neat because you could encrypt a document on your hard drive and then encrypt it again when it's uploaded. So I'll just... Uh, click upload and there it is there then you can download it from uh, here uh, I don't think you can actually what happens nothing okay not that I know of it might have downloaded to a temp file or downloads okay so that's the file explorer uh, we'll go back to the internet and I'll show you the the web, the Firefox one looks the best to me. I don't know. And again, if you're logged in, 
it'll open in your home folder and it'll show you left right like almost like an FTP service and there's SkyDrive again and uh, document oops um, go up documents and there's that random text file I don't know if I can download that uh, let's go to uh, I wish it didn't show the hidden folders because it makes it difficult I'm going to drag that in no okay so downloading so this is the job here and there it is there now it's in my folder so I open uh, documents random text file so so far so good as I say okay well, so close the browser and uh, the last tool which I not I'm not too keen on but I guess you know, depends on what you would want to use it for is the client itself and you just mount a virtual hard drive and it says success and you can exit or hide in tray so I'll just hide it up here in the tray as it, and then we go to our home folder you can see here now SME as a extra drive network drive I guess and there's the folder and the thing with the folder is it's kind of slow sometimes uh, if I go to videos not bad but navigating is it's a little quirky uh, so minimize that for a sec yeah it does that it looks like it's gonna crash then it comes back so that's the way to link up your SkyDrive account if you want to inside Linux and uh, let me see, is it done? No, it's not done. I don't know if I can unmount. I'll try. Yeah, it's busy. That's the only one I wasn't too uh, happy with. But I mean, this is free, so I'm not complaining. It's just uh, if you if you decide to use this, just uh, try to avoid this as much as you can, unless for some reason you have to. Okay, well, <laughs> it does work. If you unmount, it will unmount the, the drive, and you should be fine. So I think that's it. So it's uh, storagemadeeasy.com, all one word, and you just sign up for a free account. You get 5 gigs free on their server, I think through Amazon. I'm not sure. And then whatever else you're using for a service. Okay. So that's it for this one, and uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.